Hey guys, Stin here, and today we are playing Heroes of Dragon Age. Now, I saw Duncan play this, and it looks pretty cool. It's an exciting new tablet iOS slash Android game, and I'm really excited to jump in. I saw Duncan playing it, and it looked really fun. And basically, it puts you in the world, the Dragon Age universe, and you get to create a squad, give them tactics and gear and things, and recruit the best you can, and, and pit them against kind of various dungeon battles and encounters and see how they do. Now, I'm playing here. I'm going through the tutorial, and, and oh, hello. Who are you? What do you have to say? All right, okay, so let's just jump into the tutorial and see what this lady has to say for us. Okay. All right, to prepare you for what lies ahead, let's watch a famous battle between the heroic Grey Wardens and a fearsome Archdemon. Ooh, I can't wait to see how it ends. All right, cool. Right, okay, so this is the game. All right, what's going on, right? So my dudes are on the left, right? Okay, yeah, those are the Grey Wardens for sure. That looks like Alistair there. And is that Morrigan in the background? Wow. And on the right, we have some pretty rude dudes and a dragon. Oh, man. Oh, but Mora can just wipe the dragon out. Okay, right. Um, oh, no, the dwarf's toast now, though. Right, so that's Ogryn down. Um, what happens now? Okay, I think, oh, I think we're winning. Oh, yeah, we're definitely winning. Oh, we've won. Right, okay. Now, that was exhilarating. However, the Archdemon's defeat is only one part of our troubled past. Thedas is a land in turmoil teeming with conflicting people fantastic beasts, and powerful magic. Okay. While exploring our past, you will call upon some of these famous heroes and monsters and use them to build a powerful squad. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. I really love turn-based style tra strategies that aren't so Twitch-based. And, and the problem is, with like phone and iOS games and, and kind of like tablet games, it's it's not that intuitive to have like a touchscreen game that's kind of Twitch, act, Twitch combat. So like I've tried some FPSs on it and it's pretty tricky. Okay, so she's arranged a basic squad for me. And let's toughen them up by going on some quests. All right, cool. Alistair. Key traits. Massive dork. Weird voice. Trendy hair. Each map covers an event in Thedas' past and contains five quests. You can navigate them by using that fascinating magical tome you're holding. It, you, mean, you mean the iPad, right? Yeah, yeah, she's talking about the iPad, right? Let's check out the first one. Okay, this, this isn't a magical tome. Although I guess, like, if you took this back in time... People would be pretty weirded out. They'd be like, whoa! Okay, so as you move through a map and win battles, your squad will grow powerful enough to take on the boss. But enough babbling, let's test your squad out in the first quest. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, handsome, handsome elven babe. Although it's a bit, you know, why, 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 why don't we have an elven hunk as well? I'd like an elven hunk as well to teach me the ropes. Um, okay. Subterranean creatures called Darkspawn, I remember those from the game, have started to overrun the continent. Use your squad to drive them back. All right, cool. No sweat. Can do this. There's Ogryn. Okay, yeah. Oh, looking badass with that hammer there, bro. Oh, man. I wish my beard was plaited like that. Maybe I'll grow it that long one day. You'll quickly learn that every hero is different. Health, power, and abilities determine how a unit fights, and speed determines the order that they fight in. Oh, right. So it's kind of like Final Fantasy and games like that. The more speed you have, the more attacks you get. Okay, let's see what these guys can do. The Ferelden Ash Warrior has the highest health in your squad. Okay, is that the guy at the front? And uh, in your squad, and he will attack one enemy on his turn. All right, cool. Yeah, that's, that's boring. The Legionnaire Scout has lower health, but it's quicker, meaning she'll attack earlier. And the Circle Apprentice has the highest power, but the lowest health in your squad, and will attack an entire row of enemies. All right, so we've got like a mage dude that's good for wrecking, but he's super, super fragile. We've got a super quick thief, uh, thief kind of rogue assassin character over there. He does high damage to one dude, but but it's quite flimsy. And we have a like tank dude at the front who's like a warrior. He can take the beats, but he doesn't give out too much damage. Okay. Well, let's see how these guys do. Oh yeah, she's wrecking there. Has her attacks increased or something like that? I don't. Oh, there's. Oh, I have no idea what all these all these icons mean. Ah, oh, go for it. Wait, wait. What are you doing, mage? You're supposed to be casting spells. Oh, and the rogue kicks some more ass. Okay, that that makes sense. That makes sense enough, right? Player versus a blight. You, sir, are a blight. Okay, quest complete. Oh, yeah! Double fist bump, babe. Yes! My goodness. By winning this battle, you've completed this quest and unlocked the next one. You can also return to this quest later to defeat harder squads for valuable bonus gems. Well done. Okay, now like every single like iOS and, and an Android game that's out at the moment, it's, it's very much like kind of, you know, real currency based. So if you want to kind of progress your squad and stuff, I suppose the best way to do it is probably to buy like in-game currency. 
But if you don't want to do that, I'm sure there are ways for you to just progress naturally as well without having to spend cash. Right, so what's next? You also earn golden XP from... Actually, I'm just going to read out all the golden text in like super enthusiastic tone. So you also earn golden XP from completing quests, but believe me, we're just getting started. Let's move on. Okay, what's the next quest? Alistair. Looks like the Darkspawn are continuing to thrive under a powerful archdemon. Since you're on a roll, let's take out a few more in that second quest. High dragon? Oh, are we killing a dragon? No. I think we're just going to go through harder and harder Darkspawn until we get to like a rude dude at the end, maybe the archdemon. Okay. So what now? I guess we just press fight. Front row heroes are there to hold the line. They get a bonus to health and block. The back row, oh, and they block the back row from direct attacks. Okay, that makes sense. Back row heroes have time to focus and get a bonus towards two times damage hits. Trust me, those pack quite a punch. Okay. No! Ooh. Oh, right, yeah, so my dude at the front is taking all the hits. I'm a bit worried, though. I mean, what if he gets taken out? Oh, nice stun there, my friend. Oh, and in goes the priest. Do some damage. The crossbow dude. Why is he coming forward with the crossbow? He doesn't have to move. He's got, like, a ranged weapon. What a, what, a, what, a, what a noob. Okay, kick his ass. Nice job. I wonder if you can name your dudes. Or maybe they get names as you kind of, like, unlock them. Level up. Oh, nice. Now he's level two. Man, there's a lot of depth to this game. One of the things that you find with most kind of iOS and tablet games and, uh, and Android games is that they're really kind of, like, not very deep. They're quite simple when you get down to it. But the truth is, this is a pretty cool game. The graphics are great. It's smooth. It plays well on an iPad, at least. And, uh, and yeah, it looks like a lot of fun with a lot of depth. Okay, quest complete. What's next, Elven, Elven, Elven Enchantress? Whew! That was close. We'll have to think about upgrading our squad soon. But let's press on. Two quests down, three more to go. We're almost halfway through this map, but be sure to keep your eye on your energy meter. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. You use energy when you battle in quests! But it regenerates over time when your squad rests. Your energy bar will also refill when you level up. Let's keep going. Okay, it's difficult to keep track of what's going on. And also, I'm wondering why she gets, like, a man's voice whenever she gets super excited. But I don't know. Maybe that happens in real life, too. Do, do any of you guys know women that get, like, really kind of aggressive and, and sound, like, really manly when they get, like, angry? I don't know. Maybe it's a thing. I know guys that, that sound like women when they get upset and angry, like myself. Um, okay. Fight. Oh, dear. There's a Darkspawn emissary with a silver base over there. That means it's an uncommon... When, and probably more powerful than our bronze common heroes. It's also in the back row, blocking it from direct attacks. Oh no, so he's a superly, superly hardcore dude at the back. And we can't get to him until we've, ch uh, until we've mowed through these crossbowmen. Well, what are we going to do, El Elven, Elven Witch? Oh man, let's just see how the battle unfolds then. Okay, so we're taking, taking the damage and dealing the hits. Stun the crossbowmen. Oh, oh my god, he just disintegrated my dude. Holy crap. This ain't looking good. Are we gonna... I think we're gonna lose. Holy crap. Why is he doing so much damage? How is this even... Oh my god. No! What the hell? We've been defeated, guys. Player versus a revelation. Well, that is a revelation and a half, my friend. So what do we do? Well, I figured our luck would run out sooner or later, but no worries. You've earned enough gold now to summon a new hero to your squad. All right, so now we can use some of the gold that we've earned to get a new dude in our squad. Okay, who are we gonna get? Oh, I love this part. This is where you can summon new heroes and monsters from Thedas' past by trading in golden gems for a pack. Neat, huh? All heroes are available in every pack. But the better the pack, the better chance you have at summoning a rarer hero. You'll also receive bonus items if you're lucky. All right, cool. So what I'll probably do is I'll make two videos. In the first one, we'll go through the tutorial. But in the second one, I'll kind of buy a cool pack, put together a mean a mean bean machine of, like, awesome, awesome, powerful heroes and see how they do in the real game. Okay. In the recruit pack, you're most likely to get common heroes. Common heroes! Those are perfect for consuming, but we'll learn more about that later. In the soldier pack, you'll get at least an uncommon or better hero. And remember, there's always a chance for a rare epic or even legendary in every pack. Cool. Okay. And what's the champion pack then? The champion pack is where you have the best chance to get the rarest and strongest heroes. Okay, cool. Oh, but they cost gems, not gold. So you have to pay real money for those. That sucks a bit, but never mind. 
We have enough for one of these, so let's get one. You might want to stand back. What the hell's gonna happen? It's Ogren! We've got- No, no, we haven't. It sucks. Who are we gonna get? Who are we gonna get? Who are we gonna get? Rolling the dice! Come on! Luck be a lady tonight. Not that I want a lady. A man will do. Hey! Fantastic! You've received an uncommon. Notice the silver base. Silver base! Just like that Darkspawn emissary had. Oh, yeah, man. I've completely forgotten what the race names are, but this is like, um... That tall guy. Uh, I forget. Yeah, I've forgotten the race names, but this is definitely one of those cool, massive dudes from the north. This hero is very powerful. Let's find a place for it in your squad! Now, how many people can you have in a squad? I thought you could get, like, five in there. And we've only got three at the moment. Okay, let's press the squad button and see where we're going to put him. Welcome to your hero camp, where you can strategize and set up your squad to take into battle. Let's select your new hero and see what they're made of. All right, cool. Where is my new hero? He's right there. He's a shard. That's what they're called. And uh, this hero is... Uh, this is the hero info panel, where you can see a more detailed look at the hero stats. The shard attacks a column of enemies. A column of enemies! Which might be what, which might be just what we need. Tap the panel to close it. Okay, cool. So how can I see that he attacks like a a, a a row? Doesn't say, does it? Where does it say? Quick to hit archer's lance attacks a column of enemies right down the bottom. Okay, so let's just close that. As you drag units in and out of your squad, you'll see info on that unit and then the squad. Since the Ishad has high health, let's drag him into the empty front slot so that he can protect the back row. Okay, so he can also he can attack a row. And he's, um, got enough health to defend our back dudes. Okay, splendid! Heroes in the front row also receive a health bonus, so the Ashad has even more health now. Let's head back to the map. Alright, let's go back and try this quest one more time. I think we're ready to try this again. They won't even know what hit them. That's, oh, this is a really fun, cool game, actually. I'm really enjoying this. I'm actually gonna, like, keep playing this, even after I finish recording it. I, that's like, you know, that's the mark of a good game right there. Now you can hit back, now you can hit the back row with the Ashard's ability. Also, try paying attention to speed during each round. Heroes attack in this order. One quick, two normal, three slow. Okay, right, so I've got slow, normal, and quick en uh, enemies and heroes. Right, okay, I can see that. All right, let's do this. Let's see how it unfolds. Good job. Uh-oh. Now my worry is, what if this silver dude at the back just comes forward and just one-shots my Ashard dude? Oh, nicely done. Blam! Oh, no, my, my warrior's been disintegrated. That was brutal. Go, Ashard, dude. No, whoa! Holy crap! She one-shotted him. Nice. Victory! Player versus Revelation. So, most valuable player was the Legionnaire Scout. Nice job. Uh, yeah, well, she one-shotted the silver base dude. Okay. Now, I had 400 starting health, but they only had 135. Okay. And they dealt more damage, but, but I kind of... They had less health, so they lost this one. Okay, cool. Tap anywhere to continue. Let's do it. Nice. Now you're getting the hang of it. Remember, there is usually more than one solution to defeating a strong enemy, so if matching their rarity doesn't work, keep looking. Okay. Wow, she gets super excited about playing the game. Mind you, so do I. Three quests down, two more to go. You have the Darkspawn on the run. Keep at it. Let's do it. Oh, no, it's a dragon. No, it's not. It's just a loading screen. Man, that scares the crap out of me every time. Okay, right, what now? Okay, let's just keep fighting, see what happens. Ooh! Check out the black colored seals on the enemy squad's bases. When all four heroes match in faction color, the entire squad gets a power bonus? Oh no, that's that's pretty rough. They're all silver now, they're all shiny and stuff. Faction colors get damage bonuses against opposing faction colors. You have the advantage here though, your squad has been leveling up. Right, okay, cool. Let's do it. Kick some ass, a shed. Oh, nice. See that damage? He wrecked. Oh, right. So there, there are columns and rows. A column is horizontal and a row is vertical. I see. Right in the Ashard, he attacks horizontal columns. I see. I got it. Victory. Oh, yeah. Versus the Battle of the Silent Plains. Excellent. So that means there's one more quest to do. I've reached level two. I've got energy and stamina. They've been refreshed. Oh, so much like in like the kind of games like Candy Crush, you have stamina that has to refresh. So you can't just rinse the game in one day and just, like, kind of super level up. you got to pace yourself. Okay, that makes sense. But I wager you could probably buy unlocks that reset your stamina with, with real money. Okay, I must say I'm impressed. Well, sexy elfin maiden, I do not blame you. I am pretty good at Dragon Age Heroes of Dragon Age. Okay, battles keep getting harder, but you're hanging on in there. You haven't done this before, have you? 
No, I haven't. This is honestly my first time because this is a tutorial. Although I did kind of see Duncan play a bit, so there you go. Outstanding! You've made it to the last quest of this map, which means it's time to face the boss. Let's see what we can fin let's see if we can finish it off and unlock a new era in Thedas' history. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. And get onto the real game and start leveling up our own proper heroes. All right, the final battle. Here we go. Let's fight. Now I hope I can win this. I've got my my m massively badass Ashard dude. Ugh. It looks like the boss is a Genlock Brute, a rare hero that can stun multiple heroes. Oh, that's the guy at the bottom right. Oh, man, he looks pretty bitchin'. I've got a bad feeling about this. You do? What's gonna happen? And what can we do to fix it and stop it from happening? Oh, yeah, nice shot, the Shard. And the front two are down. Okay, let's deal some damage. Holy crap! He just one-shot my hardcore dude! Oh, no. Oh, oh, don't die. Don't- No! How did that happen? Holy crap. I was sure I had them on the ropes there. Okay. Okay, how am I going to do this? Well, I won't lie to you. That could have gone better. But don't panic. She has a plan. Oh, nice. What's your plan? Spend more money! Okay, this seems like a good time to spend those shiny blue gems of yours. We could use a higher chance at summoning something rare. Right about now. Stand back. Holy crap, we're going to summon a champion pack. Here we go. What's inside this baby? Come on, luck be a lady tonight. And it's another shard. By the Dreadwolf, you've received your first rare and a rune. Which elder did you bribe to get so lucky? I don't know, since this is this is the tutorial, I'm uh, I'm imagining that everybody gets this every time they play, but I don't know. I'll have to ask Duncan. Okay, so this is a tal- what is this? Runes boost your squad stats for a short amount of time, which might just be the thing we need to get past that brute. Let's add our new hero and use our rune. Okay. So I'll go to the hero selection here at the camp. Now, where am I going to put this dude? Let's see what your new rare can do for you. He attacks one enemy and gains power, I see. Now, that's what I'm talking about. As you can see, the rarer the hero, the more powerful it is, or the more interesting ability it has. Tap again to close the panel. Okay, so he's a Tal Vishoth. Berserker. He's rare. He's got a lot of power, a lot of health, lots of health. 374, that's crazy. He's got slow to oh, he's slow to hit, so he's a bit of a bit of a like kind of a slow slugger. But he's got adrenaline rush, attacks one enemy and gains power. So I think I want him on the front lines for sure. Let's replace a common hero in your squad with the new rare hero. Okay, that makes sense. But who am I going to drag out? Oh, I think maybe the warrior at the front. What do you think, guys? Yeah, let's do that. Look at these two rude dudes right at the front. Okay, perfect. Now let's give our squad a boost with that rune. Okay, now where's the rune at? There's the rune at. Okay. Now what's a rune and how does it work? Okay. Just like with heroes, you can tap on runes to get more info. Right, let's see what this does. Increases the stun resistance. Ah, oh, this is just what we need. Because that dude stuns, this is stun resistance. Makes sense, right? The rune of control is a great defense against heroes that stun. It gives your squad a 25%, 25 boost to stun resistance for a limited time. Tap the panel again to close it and activate the rune. All right, sweet. Let's drag this on here. Fire that shit up. Oh, yeah. Activate. Activate this mother. Oh, yeah. Rune of control. Right. Ooh. Did you feel that surge of power? I can get used to this. I can feel the power coursing through my veins. Let's take a final look at our squad and head out. Okay, right. Well, I don't think we need to look at our squad. It looks pretty good to me. Or are you going to give me some advice? Are you, are you trying to school me on Dragon Age? Elven, Elven Vixen? All right, we've got our new rare hero and rune boosting our party. Time for a rematch. Let's do it. Ba -ba 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 let's kick some ass. Right, Alistair? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, now your squad has the advantage of a rune to specifically counter the Genlark brute stun ability. Time to turn some heads. And tear them off. Let's tear off some heads. All right, let's do it. Blam, blam. Holy crap! Whoa, whoa. He just one-shot the dude at the back. That shouldn't even be possible. How is that even possible? I haven't even used my new dude really properly. Holy crap! I feel like we could have done that anyway. Without our new dude. Okay, victory and a new map has unlocked. Tap anywhere to continue. Ah, oh, and my weak-ass priest has unlocked, uh, leveled up. So's the rogue. And so's Mr. Ashadi Bow Dude. And the Hammer Man too. We got a few coins, no gems yet, I need 12 victories to get to that gem 
that precious gem bounty. Okay, I've got an achievement. Wow, do much slain. Incredible! By completing all the quests, you unlocked a new map and earned a earned a gem bonus. Not bad for a day's work, huh? No, it's 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 freaking freaking good for a day's work if I do say so myself. New maps will take you through new stories and get more challenging. So you'll need to keep your strength up. Okay, cool. There's Morrigan. Oh yeah. Oh man, I miss Morrigan from the first Dragon Age. You know, I, I tried to romance her. Uh, oh, but oh, oh dear, ended badly. Uh, badly for me. It's, it's a harsh breakup. Okay, before we check out the next map, we should use that loot you scored to power up even more. Let's learn how to consume- what? I don't want to eat heroes. What the hell are you talking about? Consume- this is- I didn't sign on for this. Okay, store. How do you consume a hero? Recruit packs are great for summoning common heroes to use while consuming. And they're cheap, so everybody wins. Let's get one. Okay. Oh, who are we going to get? Roll the dice. Spin the wheel. We have gotten... Who's this? What the frig is that? It's a ghast. 25 power, 88 health, perforate, attacks one enemy, doesn't do much damage, pretty weak. Okay, let's start consuming. Ah, oh, let's eat this sucker. Mm, use, consume to trans, use consume to transfer the power from heroes you're not using into one that you are. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a really cool idea. So when you replace your dudes, you don't just throw them away. You can actually use them to boost your coolest dudes. All oh, right. So I'm just going to drag a hero onto the target to upgrade him. I'm definitely going to up upgrade my Asadi Berserker, Ashad Berserker, because look at that guy. And look at that hammer. And oh yeah, we're going to feed him this little horrible gremlin dude. Okay, drag heroes onto the targets to consume. Now we can probably consume two. Upgrading a hero through consume will increase their XP and their chance of dealing double damage. Double damage chance will percentage will increase more depending on the rarity of the consumed heroes. Oh, I see. So if we feed a rare to a rare, he'll get, like, super crit. Okay, well done. It's a good idea to regularly consume units you never find yourself using. Okay, thanks for the tip, elven, elven mistress. Right, so what now? While we're here, let's check out another way to upgrade heroes. Okay, let's see how this works. Use combine when you have two similar heroes to create one new hero of a higher combination tier. Right, okay, higher... Higher combine tiers means higher potential stats, and more is always a good thing. Yeah, well, uh, unless it's like uh, a disease or um, or debt, then more is generally a bad thing. Where are we? I've forgotten. How to combine. As you can see, you don't have any heroes ready to combine yet. But if you keep on summoning, you will in no time. Okay, cool. That's a shame. That's a shame. If you're feeling competitive and want to see how your squad measures up, you can also fight other players, squads. The golden trophies. Oh man, I've got to go up against Duncan's squad for sure. And you can check where you rank among other players on the leaderboard. You'll enter your name soon, so you better make it a good one. Your reputation and mine is on the line here. Well, I won't let you down, Elven Vixen. I will not let you down. And you use stamina when you battle other players, but just like energy, it regenerates when your squad rests. Your stamina bar will also refill when you level up. And now that you know about consuming, combining, and earning trophies, let's check out the new map that you've unlocked. The anticipation is killing her. Wow. Wow, so this is the new map. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here, guys. This has been Heroes of Dragon Age, and I'm going to play it again, I think. Try out creating a squad of my own. I'll get some packs, get some cool gems, see if I can unlock any rare heroes to show you guys. And I'll come back to you next episode when we get deeper into the Heroes of Dragon Age. But until then...